try and get you guys a sheet game because we did get some subage for it. I'll do this a little bit educationally, but I also kind of want to work on my Sheik. Tried to hold down and punish that. Sheik is not so good at just juking and dodging. I don't I wonder if he'll do it again. Didn't think so. Okay. Oh, that was good. Went right under my move. Falcon's down tilt's surprisingly not bad. Rami, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. I'll just let him go into the corner, man. Yeah. I got backered so much by this guy. Okay, um, I'm just gonna wave dash more. <laughs> ah, good job. Good job. I don't think you'll tech. I bet you'll tech now. Freak. if I do this. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Remy. Oh, I wanted to back here. I don't know how you do that as chic. Ben does that. I don't know how that works. Almost. Almost. I wanted that back air really bad. Oh, butt grab. Should have held down. Roll frame. Roll frame. Peach Rocks, thank you for the sub. Oh yeah, Jack, I got you, homie. Yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about what I was doing. So my strategy initially was to try and move around like I was Marth against him, but I realized that Falcon was overshooting me a lot. So what I tried to do instead was um, wave dash, so I'd be holding down a little more um, and counter hit. 
uh, with my down throws, um, I realized that he wouldn't tech low percent and then around 30 he would start teching so that I just adapted that way. Um, and then he didn't really do anything when he jumped off the stage. Like he never jumped back with an aerial. So that helped me too. Um, he didn't come in after I needled him, which was good, but it just gave me free damage, which was also nice. Um, I think I need, I need to find a way to be more aggressive, but I don't really know how to do it in that matchup. So I had to settle for just playing more patiently, but I'm sure there's a way. I just need to go back and watch stuff. That was pretty cool. GG's. So hopefully that was worth it. I have more, I, I really want to get a lot better with Sheik. So I can do a lot better than that, but I want to learn. So I was glad to do that too. Oh, well, this is interesting. Anyway, Fox Falco, uh, we got we got a battlefield game coming out here. Now, I'm going to be trying to snipe the Fox's landing like so. We're going to try and make sure we can trip up this Fox player's DI. Oh, not quite quick enough. We're going to push the Fox off the stage. But I'm absolutely okay with them reflecting the lasers because that means they're going to go lower. And that means they're not going to be coming in. So I can go ahead and get the punish that way. Stay on the platform to avoid some invincibility. We're going to try and space around this here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. They just beat out my move with uh, Shine. Very interesting. this will hit yeah so we're just gonna double up there the fox had been holding in a kind of good bit and they also have really good sdi oh my what a grab we can wait for the fox to get right over us before we down air there's not really any uh, danger of them going in because they're gonna like they're hitting on one side try to catch the fox jumping there We're just gonna catch, we wanna push the fox towards the edge. We're just gonna get an extra laser for some good measure. So again, if fox is on the platform a lot, <laughs> or we, uh, thank you Melee Hell for playing with us. And um, just so you guys know, that is kind of how that matchup works. When fox is on a platform, you don't just spam lasers all the time. You shine to catch fox out of the air. You set up your back air up tilt to beat him out if they're coming into you. If they're taking their time, it means that there, there's time that you can set them up to space your back air full hop or short hop to beat out whatever they're going for or just to pressure them. And um, when you're hitting them, you saw that I was trying to push them. If they wanted to go in, I would let them go in. Then I try to push them out, push them back off the stage, make them by the edge, uncertain. Do they jump? Do they shine stall? What do they do? How can I pressure them? I'm not always lasering, right? In these scenarios, what I'm doing is I'm keeping the fox in the air, but close to me so I can catch out their jump. I can dash full hop and still catch them out down air, get above them, or I can just hit them forward tilt, something like that, something very quick to come out quick and easy. Um, just really depends. And so that's kind of how that whole process works. And hopefully that stuff makes sense to you guys, how you were able to um, push the fox around. Even though the SDI was very good and we called that out, there's still ways to play off of it, right? Push them onto a platform, let them tech, let them go to the top platform even. Top platform can break a lot of punishes on the stage for both characters, but what we did do is we made sure that they weren't able to really chase us around very well. And uh, when when they went to the top platform, we tried to make sure we didn't keep them there. All right, forward smash them off, and if they're gonna hold in, we can kind of keep them there for a little while, then send them to a side platform for a tech chase, or send them up and out, push them off stage, get laser damage, get an edge guard, and um, the various ways you can go about it from there. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> GG's melee hell and uh may your memes be forever dank bless up <laughs>